Things are looking rather different behind the, the station here up on the hill. Because it's the music weekend. But watch it. And hopefully I should get closer later to have a closer look at this area. The St. Decker's Tower is also open today to be able to climb up and see the view. The Watch It Music, Music Festival is taking place at the uh, line of hills in the distance. The train is expected to come through the station. Here it is. behind Watch It, approaching St. Decker's Church. And here you can see the old paper mill chimney that's been demolished. Last time I was here, the top of the chimney was way above all that scaffolding. Now we can't see actually any of this chimney on the top of the trees. But standing underneath it now, it's hard to see any of the chimney. It's all covered by the scaffolding here. The base of the chimney is still intact. That's the only bit where we can see presently. But we do see some documents to its tower there.
definitely not overcrowded at the top of the tower. So to see some blue sky. I wonder how we see a boat going out there. I guess that's the entrance table there. When was this church built to be like? Do you know the cuff? 16. 1600 and something. I think so, yeah. Gosh. Just 16 or was it before that? Might be before that. I'm like, right. totally wrong. When was this church built? 1600 or was it more before that? 14s? What's that? This church. Tells you out there. <laughs> up there. Yeah. How many times have I been at that? So I look it up and I say, way. you, I reckon, live. Up over from me, Bayview, up around oh, that right. area. Yes, yeah. that looks close. Yeah, I'm along Donnerford Road, opposite, going into the homes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your district councillor. Oh, well done. What's your name, then? Tony Knight. Oh, of course I've heard of you, yes. I never quite put the face to the name. <laughs> I've right. spoken to you before. That's what's made me think. Could and be. I don't know where it was on the Esplanade one day. Could it might be, have been yeah. even one of the elections or something. I put a lot of videos on YouTube as well, so hopefully this will be one of them as well. All, All right. right. <laughs> OK. Thank you. Thank All right, you. then. OK, just Time. take care of the pipes at the bottom. Yeah. Then. As I said, there's a couple of chambers as you go up and there's a as you go up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I guess there's a rope to hang on to. Quite steep. Oh, this doesn't go very far. <laughs> well, this is where the bells are rung up here, I guess. Alright. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, how often do the bells actually get rung then? Um, not very often. At the no. We try and ring some of the sort of important occasions. Yes. But we don't really have enough to ring every Sunday or every week. No. Because it's got a bit of history up here. Oh, there's no um, inscriptions there too. Huh. And I was telling someone about St. Deckerman the other day and they said, never heard of him, so yeah. uh, I've been trying to find out all I can about him. Yeah. Is this the back of the organ here? Yeah. All right. These are like the pedal pipes. Yeah. Oh, yes, there we go, yeah. Gosh. When you're ringing for weddings, it's quite off putting having glass of wind yeah. going. <laughs> oh. Right. Where does one go from here then? Oh, up there. Further on up yeah. in the same place, is it? Mm. Ah, right. Thank you. Yes, be very careful not to fall down when you just walked up. Really dry, the stone here. Obviously, very waterproof in here. I know how we've got to now. There's more to go up there. This is probably a halfway point, is it? Yeah. It's with the bell. Ropes are going on up still, further higher. Huh? Trap door there. Hmm. Gotta go up higher again. It's probably nicer going up than down. This is halfway, is it? Uh, no, we're a bit over halfway here. That's just up there. That's where you. That's the route. Oh, yeah. You're Gosh. just over the bells on this level. Well, the bells are hanging down there, right? Yeah. 
Cool. I don't realise how much altitude is involved with bells. <laughs> no. How many bells are there? Six. Six. Big one there. Right. That's the tenor, that's 1600 weight. Goodness me. When were they last run? Um, last Sunday. Oh, right. Yeah, they're, um, they're run from a couple of Sundays a month. I see. We used to have a, a, a band, but some of them, there's a couple that have got some illnesses and stops them from ringing on a regular mm -hmm. basis. We used to, up until a, couple, a year and a half ago, we used to have a, a weekly practice and try and ring every Sunday. Right. Yeah, I'm part of the Watch It Bell Plate team, you know, handbells, so oh, right. it's quite a contrast to see the, yes. the real thing here. Yes. We sometimes yes. take these out of the tower and ring them by hand. Do you? God, <laughs> I was going to say, that's some engineering to do that. Yeah, no, they're, um, they're a bit, bit heavy. I see that one's slightly swinging there in the breeze. Yeah. Um, I think. Tom, who else down in the um, ringing chamber, let, let people just sort of... Um, I'll play with the rope a bit. Yeah. We've got one that's up, which is the bell two, because um, all of the bells are down, the safe position is when they're down. Oh, yes, I see. But when they're up, they're just held on the, on the timber stay. Right. And there's a, that, just like that one there, when it's upright, that just rests into a sliding guide, uh -huh. and that's what holds it in place. But mm. then you can pull it out, it rings right way around and back up again. Cool. <clears throat> and this is sort of full circle ringing, which means that you can, when it gets to the top of its wing, you can actually hold it and check it, so you can change the speed of the bell, so that you can change the positions of the bells, and therefore you can ring methods. Mm -hmm. So the bell sequence has changed each time you do you a hand do that? In a bell right. in a backstroke. God, some place, isn't it? Yeah. And there's the perforations you can see from around the ground. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> right. And that's the actual floor of the, that's, of the top? That's, that's the floor of the roof. Yeah. That was um, part of the um, tower repair work. Oh, well, they've been repaired. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> this is our oldest bell. Mm -hmm. Came from Cleve Abbey, was cast in oh, was it? Yeah. 1422. Goodness. So it's nearly 600 years old. Wow. Cool. It's marvellous how these old builders can survive, isn't it? With a yeah. lot of money and uh, yeah. expertise. Obviously, that wall's been rebuilt a bit there. Yes, that's pr that's quite a while ago. I think that um, these plates were put on to stop um, the birds wind. and the Oh, wind I see. Getting yeah. In. The, 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 these were put on to stop. Oh, with the netting. Yes. Mm. That's that's sort of um, southwesterly, so it's the prevailing mm -hmm. wind. So they were put up. Yeah. It must have been 60 or 70 years ago because they've cool. got records that go back right. um, that far, and, and that wasn't included in the works. Mm. That's quite interesting. Don't need to go upstairs now. <laughs> Good view from up the top. Yeah, I must go and see that.